Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Friday commentary. Today, what you're seeing on the screen is yet again another gameplay from my COD Nostalgia Power Hour that I did a couple weeks ago. I've been really trying to grow the live streams, so if you do enjoy live stream type of things with my face and my commentary and my gameplay and stuff like that please do go and follow my twitch channel it is in the description below i'm trying to do it on a regular basis and if you want to know when i'm streaming obviously following me on twitter or facebook is the best method to do that but today i'm talking about depression i asked you guys if you wanted certain topics to be talked about in these commentaries and Sharpie565 asked me to do a video about depression it was closely followed behind by joshua s uh, Miles or Joshua Smiles, could you talk about getting over relationships, which is something that I'm fairly open to be doing if you guys want to hear it. It also got quite a number of likes, however, uh, Mr. Sharpie just about pipped it. So, depression. I actually did a bit of research as well to make sure that I got everything that I wanted to as to how to approach this topic. Now, what is depression? Is a state of low mood and a strong disliking to activities that can affect a person's thoughts, behaviours, feelings and sense of well-being. And how can you tell if you have depression? You have lasting feelings of sadness and hopelessness. You lose enjoyment out of the things you used to love and feelings of tearfulness. Many people suffer from anxiety. Physically, you can feel tired. You can feel that you're sleeping poorly, you have no appetite, no sex drive, aches and pains. At its mildest, you may feel low-spirited persistently. And at its worst, you can feel like life isn't worth living anymore. So I try to think to myself, what is the mentality of a depressed person? And based on what I could figure out and what I've experienced, it feels like nothing will ever get better. There's no point in trying to be happy anymore. And the feeling that nothing at all is better than feeling at how you do at that moment in time. Feeling nothing at all, having no feeling whatsoever, not being alive, is better than how you feel at that present moment in time. Now, this is all well and good, but Trout, have you ever experienced depression before? And to be honest, I'd like to say that I have. Based on certain things that have happened in my past, these certain moments in my lifetime, I feel like I have. I feel like I've displayed those symptoms. There are times where I feel like I, were, I wasn't going to get any better. Things weren't going to get better in my life. Didn't enjoy doing a lot of the stuff I used to enjoy. I lost my appetite. I couldn't sleep. I was always tired. At times I felt like I'd rather not exist than feel what I felt at that time. I used to have massive anxiety, and for me, it, it definitely felt like those kind of things. I felt like I definitely had some sort of mild depression at times because of the things I experienced and the people who had kind of wronged me in my past, and I think everyone has that kind of thing, and there would just be days where I'd be just sitting there at home and like just not wanting to feel the way I do and feeling like nothing will get better and feeling extremely, extremely down like all the time. Nothing was ever going to get better. There were very few things I'd actually want to do with my time because what was the point? It just felt completely pointless at that point. That's a lot of point words, but... <laughs> um, it's a really serious thing. And it's not something to be messed with. It's something you should be taking seriously. And... I think the only thing that got me through it was working on my anxiety. You know, YouTube was a great help for that. I really don't feel any anxiety or worry about what people think about me or anything in life anymore because I'm so comfortable in my own skin these days, which massively helped me move forward. Pushing myself out there. I know it's one of those things you, you've got to be careful when you're trying to force yourself to do things you don't particularly want to do. But I found that actually putting myself out there making sure that I was getting out and about with my friends and stuff was a real big benefit, even if I didn't particularly want to. Just being out there in a happy environment can make you feel a ton better. Trying to remain positive, things were always going to get better. I mean, for me, you always make your own luck and happiness. If you're not trying to do that sales for you, you're going to have a struggling time. I mean, 
life is only going to give you so many opportunities. If you're waiting for something to fall out of the sky, it, the chances are it's just not going to happen for you. So trying to make your own happiness and luck is a very, very good thing. And I always knew in the, in the back of my mind, things were going to get better. As long as I wanted things to get better, things would get better. And that was what kept me going, is not being smarter than that. Knowing that me, you know, not existing was not a beneficial thing. Putting myself out there and wanting to be better and happier is a much better idea. And it, I think my brain was just smart enough to wrap my head around that and be a little bit more upbeat about the entire thing. And depression is a serious thing. It's a scary thing. I know there's probably a lot of people who might be going through it, but just... Just know this. There are people out there who care about you. Things do get better. Every time I'm at my worst, at my lowest, I'm always thinking things can get better. Things will get better. And they always do. So don't get yourself down too much if you are out there feeling like the world is against you. Because the world isn't against you. You just need to put yourself out there and feel that you are stronger than the world. There's some motivational noises for you in your ear holes for the weekend it's also mother's day at the weekend at least in england go and give your mum a big hug and show her how much you appreciate her i'll see you later peace out